When the adverts come on, you go to the chair, take the tube, take the handful out, and chomp on them like one big Pringle sandwich. <laughs> this isn't depression, you're thinking. <laughs> Your life in Edinburgh is like the tiny tag of skin under your left armpit. You sometimes want to share your fears about it, but you know you can't face the diagnosis, or rather, you can't face the embarrassment of having to admit that you let it linger for so long. When you look in the mirror, the reflection is familiar. Can't pick out a single feature that belongs to you. He tells you all the things he wants to do to you when you're back in Edinburgh. You tell him, that sounds nice. <laughs> he high fives things and kicks you up his arm wrapped around your waist. Happy fucking Christmas! You and Dale sway to charcoal grill, you slip on the ice, but Dale grabs you before you fall and insists on walking arm in arm for safety reasons. A heathen <laughs> coming from one of the bedrooms. You follow the sound. The door is half open, you peek round. Cat is there, kneeling on her before. Her head and arms buried deep in a pile of clothes. She's making a, a wailing noise. You okay? Oh, no. Sorry, sorry, you say, and you close the door, hinges squealing. You stand outside for a moment and consider the best way to leave. The door creaks slowly open. Cat hears out. Oh, sorry, no. No, no, you say, I'll go away. I 